finally happened, Fortnite Battle Royale has come to the Switch, giving us a way to play the game portably while still having access to actual controllers instead of having to use touchscreen controls like on a mobile phone. Use your hands? That's like a baby's toy. And if you're playing it on Switch or thinking about playing it on Switch, we got a list of accessories that'll help maximize your experience. And if you haven't checked it out before, you should really give it a look. We've actually got a link down below. It's free to play. Check it out. Now, of course, the big deal about it being on Switch is being able to play it in the Switch's handheld mode, and when you're playing the Switch in handheld, there's two main things you really need to address. Comfort and battery life. First, let's talk comfort. The Switch is a great little handheld, but if you're playing for long periods of time, it's not really the best shape for your hands. It's a very flat back, it doesn't really give you a grip at all, it doesn't work over long periods of time. So you can actually find a lot of cases like this one right here, this is a really good cheap example, which just wraps around the entire system, gives it a little bit of protection, but most importantly, adds these grip designs to the back of where the Joy-Cons are, so you have a much more comfortable grip on the overall system and is going to help you play for long periods of time. Now, on the other hand, another way you can go instead of focusing on comfort is battery life, because there's nothing worse than playing the game, getting pretty far, and then seeing that little battery light flashing in the corner. And this is a little guy we featured a couple times that I really, really love. This is a battery case for the Switch. It's fairly small in size, so it'll still fit inside of a case, but it gives you considerably more battery life when you're playing in handheld mode. And if you still want to increase your comfort a little bit, since it only covers the main body of the Switch itself, you can still get little grips still attached specifically to the Joy-Cons to give you that better, more comfortable experience. Added benefit to this option too is that if you like playing in tabletop mode, this is going to give you a better kickstand situation as well. Instead of using the single kickstand on the back of the Switch, you get two of them right here. So you're not only going to get that battery life, but a better way to have it set up when you want to play in tabletop. Now when you're not playing in handheld mode, whether that's in docked or tabletop mode, there's one very serious issue we need to talk about, and that's controllers. Look, I love the Joy-Cons. I think these are great little controllers for when you just want to play something and you're relaxing, you're lazy, you're laid back. It's just something you can comfortably hold in each hand and play a game. But if you're doing anything that's more serious, more competitive, and that includes Fortnite, these just aren't gonna cut it. You need something that's gonna give you a better sense of being able to reach all the different buttons, a good long-term comfort, and just something that's a better design for intensive gameplay. And there's a couple ways you can improve upon this. One of them is getting a comfort grip to put the Joy-Cons into. Now, the Switch does come with a Nintendo stock version of the comfort grip, but honestly, I really don't like that thing. I mean, it puts the controller in the right shape, but the grips on it are really uncomfortable. So if you want a cheap alternative to it, I really recommend this one from Power A. Now at first glance, this looks like pretty much the exact same thing, minus not having Nintendo branding all over it, but the important difference is how the grip is designed. Instead of being this flat, hard plastic like the Nintendo One has, this guy is a gripped curved design, which is made out of a softer rubber, so it has just a little bit of give to it, and is just way more comfortable when you're playing for long periods of time. Now, on the other hand, if you're willing to spend a little more money, another option is you can grab this Pro Charging Grip from PDP. Now, like the Power A1, you're getting the revised grip design, which is a lot better. It doesn't have the same soft rubber, which I do kind of miss, but it is still a lot more comfortable. The really interesting thing about this one, though, is that it also augments the triggers on the Joy-Con. So it gives you little front bumpers for the front ones and actual proper triggers for ZR and ZL, which feel a lot better, especially for an FPS. Now, on top of that, this is a full kit, so it comes with a couple other extra items, one of which is these thumb grips right here, which are a really nice improvement. They make the thumb sticks just a little larger, but more importantly, make them a lot grippier. Now, if you want to look into getting thumb sticks, make sure to be a little careful with other ones you might buy, because there are a lot of them out there, but a big complaint with a lot of them is that on Joy-Cons, they get a little too big to where it interferes with being able to press the B button comfortably, which, you know, can be a problem. Now, on top of all that, this is a charging grip as well, so it makes sure that your Joy-Cons are always at full power. Whenever you're not playing, you just put it on this little charge base right here, and they'll be good to go whenever you want to play. Before moving on, I want to take a second to thank Epic Games, the makers of Fortnite Battle Royale, for sponsoring today's video. Like I said earlier, Fortnite Battle Royale is free to play and is on basically every major system out right now. PS4, Xbox One, PC, Mac, Mobile, and now Switch. And if you haven't played Fortnite before, it's a game that sets you in battles of up to 100 players in PvP. You can play by yourself or with friends in duos or squads. There's destructible environments, you can build structures. It's a bunch of fun. Like I said, it's free, so if you haven't played it before, check out the link we got down below. Hello. 
Now, Joy-Con grips are all well and good, and they're a great option if you don't want to spend a lot of money. But at the end of the day, if you really want to have an advantage playing a competitive game on the Switch, you need to have a proper controller. Now, of course, the official option for this is the Switch Pro Controller, which if you already have one, great, go ahead and use that. But honestly, it's just kind of okay. It's a solid, normal, traditional controller design. It's got all the requisite buttons you need. It's a little pricey for what you get, in my opinion, but it's perfectly okay. But there's other options you can go that are either more affordable or are just straight up better. So let's look at some of those. First, let's talk more affordable. Now, when you're looking at wired controller options for the Switch, there are a lot of options out there. Basically, every major third-party accessory company has made some kind of wired controller for the Switch. And my personal favorite out of the options there for a nice cheap one is the one from PDP. With the PDP controller, you're gonna get a very similar layout to the Switch Pro Controller. Everything is in basically the same place. The only thing that's switched around is the plus and minus buttons have been swapped with the capture and home buttons, which for core gameplay is not a big deal at all. Uh, the buttons and sticks are all solid quality for being such a cheap controller. I really like the change to the triggers, which are longer, which is a little more comfortable. The really nice thing about this controller, though, is not only is it a more affordable alternative to the Switch Pro controller, but you are also getting some remappable buttons on the back, which are gonna give you a couple more options for gameplay and can be really useful to mapping certain commands, such as jump to. On top of that, the PDP controller comes in a couple different designs. This one in particular actually has a removable faceplate, which you can put a Mario or Luigi one instead. I, of course, went for the better of the two brothers and put Luigi on. The Mario Brothers and Plumbing's a game. We're not like the others who get all the fame. Now, going in a much different direction, uh, all the controllers that currently exist for the Switch are fine, they're good, but there's a lot of really cool pro controllers out there that are compatible for other systems that would just honestly work better for playing a game like Fortnite. And the great thing about the Switch is that there are a lot of options out there for using other Bluetooth controllers with the Switch. And one in particular is this 8-bit dough receiver right here. This is a really simple setup. You just plug this into your Switch's dock and you can use it to sync up with pretty much any other major controller out there. So if you're a bigger fan of using a DualShock 4, you can use that. If you're a big fan of using the Xbox One controller, which is personally my usual go-to for just a standard controller design, you can use that as well, which works really well for FPS games. But if you wanna go even farther than this, you can use the same receiver to work with any kind of Bluetooth controller, which is higher quality. For instance, if you wanna use the Xbox Elite controller, or if you own a scuff controller for PS4, those will work with this setup. So if you really want the biggest advantage you can get, you can use Pro Controllers from pretty much any other system as long as they are wireless and Bluetooth and use them for Fortnite. So there's just a couple ways that you can enhance your Fortnite game on the Switch. Once again, if you haven't played the game before, it's totally free to play. So make sure to check out the link we have down below and I will see you guys later.